How you doing? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. Today we're taking a look at Lufkin's Shock Force tape measure. I gotta tell you, did you know that Lufkin is 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 a subsidiary? Subsidiary? Subsidy? Subsidiary? Subsidiary of Crescent? You know, the, the Crescent Wrench? the maker, the inventors of the crescent wrench. Did you know, did you know that crescent is kind of a universal name, like Kleenex, Salsa. What's that other stuff? Glad wrap, what's it called? Oh, uh, Windex. No. What's that other one? Plastic wrap? What's the plastic wrap called? What is that called? Well, it's like that. That's exactly what it's like. It's like all those that Nick just rambled off, okay? It's, it's like, it's a crescent, crescent, okay? People get an adjustable wrench, and what do they say? I need a crescent wrench. Matter of fact, years ago, I watched a movie. The guy was trying to, I think he was trying to break out of prison, or he was stealing a mailbox, and he said on his list, he needed a crescent wrench. And I asked my dad, Dad, what's a crescent wrench? Ah, it's just an adjustable wrench. It's a brand name for adjustable wrench. Did you know that? Did you know that? They're making tape measures now. They're doing the same thing now. They're trying to change the game. This is the night eye version of the tape measure. That means you could see it day, you could see it night. We're gonna talk all about it right after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. Here's the deal with this baby, okay? Number one, okay, here it, here it is. Here it is. I personally, and we're gonna go over, I know what you're saying, I want the specs, how much does it weigh? I gotta carry it with me every day, it's part of my EDC. We're gonna get the scale out, relax, calm down. We're gonna, we're gonna give you all that. I like this tape measure, I picked it up, for this. Look at that. Look how visible that scale is. We're going to talk about the blade, the material. Here's the second best part about it. It's got the scale on the back. On the back too. Unbelievable. You want, you want more? <laughs> okay. It's got diamond coated end hook for superior grip. It's got a through hole for scribing pivot or tether loop. So this is the deal. We're gonna get this thing unboxed. I'm gonna demonstrate that for you to show you what you've been missing, okay? It's got easy three inch adder for inside measurements, okay? We're gonna go over that as well. Two sided black blade with bright green markings. We showed you that metal guardrail for, for lock button. Well, let's get it unboxed. Okay, so you'll see right there we need to pull that portion off or something like that. Whoa, that's amazing. You'll see there, designed, engineered, and tested in the USA. Pretty awesome, I dig that. Made in China. It does have a limited lifetime warranty. Let's, let's, let's get this thing out of here. So, these packages are like, We should just do a tutorial on how to get your, your night eyes. You got night eyes. So it says high visibility, no glare, 14 foot of standout. What do you want to know? Leave it down, leave, leave it down below right now. Stop the video. What do you want to see? You want to see 14 foot of standout or do you want to see how much it weighs? Welcome back, I read your comments. I will say this, this is very compact and nice. I, I like the look of it, really. We got 15.9 ounces. It literally is right under a pound, so it's about a pound. The dimensions, it's three inches, right? Three inches wide. That's one of the standout points about the, the, the tape. They call it the adder. So if you were going to, 
If you were going to measure an ins inside, okay, I want to say like an in to an inside corner or an in inside to a wall, okay? You're, you're measuring from one side of the room to the other. Or if you were measuring like from here to here, okay, from here, from this wall, okay, all the way to this wall. Okay, we would, we would butt our tape into the corner. You can see, I'm trying to, that could fall at this point. So we have 122 and an eighth of an inch at where the tape goes into the body of the tape measure. You, you got that? You seeing that? Okay, so 122 and an eighth. The body of the tape has an adder of three inches exactly. I literally wish that every other tape measure company would duplicate this and make it even inches because 122 and an eighth plus three inches, 125 and an eighth, boom! Round numbers, awesome, dig it. And look at that. I know you all can see the measurement because it's visible, it's clearly visible. I love it, 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 love it. Okay, we have these two, this is another standout feature. We got these guardrails. It's kind of like you're on a roller coaster. You want to have something to hold on to, okay? For our, for our blade stop. Boom, very positive. Boom. Secure. Easily done. All right, it also has, I'm not gonna be able to show you with my fat boy pencil, okay? But I could just take the lead out of the fat boy pencil, okay? Let's just say we had we wanted to, to scribe, we wanted to scribe an arc here, okay, a certain number, 10 inches out. Or we wanted to make a 10 inch or a 20 inch circle. All we would do to make that happen, I'm gonna try to, I wanted, I wanted, we could, we could go this direction with it, okay. We would go to 10 inches here, you should be able to see that on your scale. We'd lock down our tape measure, all right, and then we can get our pencil, Okay, and then we can put it through, we can put it through our lanyard hole. We could even move that up a little bit. Okay, and we could make, we could make a full circle. Pretty cool. It's just one more feature. You know that here on this channel, we are the verifier of tape measure standout. Crescent is saying that we have, there's 14 foot of standout. I will tell you this much. I feel like whatever, a manufacturer claims you should automatically subtract two, two foot from that, okay? We're at eight foot. It, it's their, their testing criteria. I just don't know how they come up with it. We're at 10 foot. Eleven foot. I called it. I'm gonna try it one more time. Where did it break? Literally the same, same place. Broke two times in the same spot. You can see it on the highly visible blade. Let us know down in the comment section below. Is it our testing criteria? Do, are we doing something wrong? Are they doing something wrong? I will tell you this much. It does have all the nice built-in math. Our 16 on centers, our black diamonds, which are green diamonds on this tape measure. We have our one foot marks marked off, all highlighted. Everything you've expected to find on a tape measure is here. Yeah, everybody always asks, how tall am I? <laughs> if you like having exact measurements and being able to see it day or night and smash the like button. Also, what do you think of the shock force? There's like one other, there's one other 
criteria. You're supposed to be able to drop this thing from 100 foot in the air. I think it's on, on compacted dirt, though. You know what I mean? Let us know. Have you used your shock force, dropped it? How is it held up? Is it work flawlessly? Did you have it damaged? We want to know. Leave it down below. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. Maybe we'll have a follow-up. See how this does. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.